Now we are done working on the user screen and some of you may be wondering why didn't I create the wishlist and the card widget yet but don't worry I will create it later in this course and since I still in the user info screen and it contains a switch so I prefer to work on the dark theme now so let's get started as a start I created this class theme data to be used instead of the theme data in here and I initialized the primary colors and the theme data colors. For example, I gave the scaffold color, background color. And here the theme data take two arguments. The first one is the boolean called this dark theme and the other one is a context. The dark theme is being used to identify if it's true the color, for example, for the scaffold background color will be black, else will be gray to change 300. Same for the other colors, but some of the colors will not change. But you can add it to your application and you can change it as much as you want. Now to get started, we need to add a new package called provider package. We will be using it a lot later in this course. Let me copy this, then go to pubspec.yama file, paste it in here and save your file. So now we need to create a new folder called provider and I will create a new file called dark theme provider dark underscore theme underscore provider the dart don't forget to import the material dart so class dark theme provider with change notifier, we need a strange change to notify to keep listening to the changes about the theme. In this class, we're gonna need a boolean. I'll save it as dark theme, and I'm going to initialize it to false to keep the white theme as default theme. And we're gonna need a getter for it. Dark theme. Turn I uh, and we're gonna need a setter in this class set dark theme. It will take a boolean value and we are going to set the dark theme equal to the value. And finally, we need to add the notify listener method to keep notifying and keep listening to the changes. Now let's go to the main file. Instead of this, we need to return the style class. Styles, let me import it. I'll wait first dot theme data. Uh, I have already imported the class. Here it is. And it will take the boolean in here. Let me add this. We need to initialize the provider class in order to use it. Dark theme provider equal. Let's name it as theme change provider equal dark theme provider like this. Let me copy this. Instead of this, I will use this dot. Now we need to wrap this widget by a consumer to keep listening to the change. I will wrap it by a stream builder then change it to consumer. The consumer is same as provider but for one widget I will import the provider package and in here I will give it a parameter of this. I will delete this thing and it will take a theme data for example and a child now we need to go to the user info to the switch but first of all we need to initialize the provider theme change i will name it equal to provider 
dot of we will listen to the dark theme provider dot context of context we need to import the provider and we need to add the dark theme provider in here now it's able to be used instead of this dot dark theme I'm gonna copy this instead of this value I will paste it in here so we don't need the, uh, the underscore value anymore so I will just delete it I will start the application okay so I got an error this error because we didn't add a notifier that listen to this whole widget to do this we need to add a provider that keep listening to this widget in here so I'm going to wrap it by a provider called multi provider that takes many children's I'm using this because we will use it a lot in the future in this course and it takes many children's not only one providers change notifier we can use in here change notifier provider it will take a context but I'm gonna I'm not gonna use it in here so I will just paste underscore and we will return we're gonna return this so I just copy and paste it in here I will cut this paste it in here and instead of the return it's a child so I'll just put it like this Reformat the code. I will refresh it. So I still get an error. So I got an error, and this error because I forgot to add the return in here. So I'll just save it. Let's give it a try, and it works so well. But I will keep it like this. But if I close the application and open it again. The state will be loose and it will not work anymore okay so now we need to work on saving the theme state and to do this we're gonna need a package called shared preferences go to install go to pubspec.tml file paste it in here save your file and once it's finished we can continue our work now we need to create a class to initialize it so I will create a new folder and name it as models and a new file named as dark theme preferences dot I will import the package that we just install it this one so class dark theme preferences we need to define a static const theme underscore status to get the status of the theme equal to theme status to use this we need to initialize two methods set dark theme it takes a boolean value and it's a future that returns and it's a future now we need to initialize the shared preferences so once the user set the theme it will be saved and this shared preferences I will name it as prefs equal await shared preferences dot get instance exactly now we need to set the theme to the new value theme 
that is to the new value and this method is done now we need another method to get the theme and it will return a future of boolean name it as get theme In this method, I will just copy this and I will just return. I will copy this, but instead of set, I will get pull without the value. But if it's null, I will return false. So the theme will be light, the default theme. Now we need to use this class. So first of all, we need to use it in the dark theme provider. So we need to initialize it in here. Dark theme provider. Sorry, dark theme preferences. Dark theme preferences equal to dark theme preferences. Now we need to call the method in here dot set dark theme and give it the value just like this. So once the user is using this method, the state will be saved in the shared preferences. Now there's still something to change in the main dart file. First of all, we need to change this to a stateful widget. We need to create another method called void get current up theme and it's a future for sure and here it's small gonna use this dot dark theme equal to this dark dark theme preferences dot get theme for sure we need to await this so what this method does this method return a full a boolean and it's listening to the dark preferences that we initialize it in the provider class in here and we are using the get method that we initialize it in here and the dark theme preferences and now we need to call this method and the best way to call it is in the init state so I'll just copy this paste it in here so now let's restart our application but it's better if you run it again but I will just restart it here I will stop the processing go again to the application let's activate the dark theme I will close it again open as you can see it retrieved the state of the theme and it's dark theme now if I retrieve the old data and close it again also the right theme will appear as expected